Hi everyone, it's Jerry. I'm on wechess.org. Gonna hop into another hourly rapid arena. 10 plus 0. Catching the last hour of this. Three games, maybe four. Let's see who we get. Round one, 265 in here. Okay. Team one. Back to tournament. <laughs> okay. Quick resigner. Ooh, can I get first place? <laughs> All right. Player did not want to play. So we'll see. Well, I guess we're going to get four games, maybe five. Okay, real game one, e4. The giver, 009. All right, let's play an open Sicilian. Black should take with the pawn and not with the knight. Just improve my queen. She's stable in the center, would be. Okay, I think what you are supposed to play here is knight b5, focus on the weakness of this last move, one of the weaknesses at least. d6 is a hole, d5 is a hole, and it seems this is a step in the wrong direction. I do have a convenient reply. Knight c3. And I'm still eyeing up knight d6. Uh, the only other move I'm considering is bishop here, but... Mm, I don't like blocking my queen's view of d6, so... I'm just going to develop. I'm not concerned that I'm in a pin. I have security with the piece, a pawn. Bishop there. So this is not a threat. I do have coverage with the bishop on b5. I could hop in straight away. If I play a3, I'm not even threatening to take. I don't think at least. I'm not sure if I could get some queen trap. So I'm thinking about diving right in straight away or continuing to simply develop and maybe wait for my knight to be nudged into d6 mm. let me give that a go bishop c4 targeting the weakest square f7 it's unprotected now so queen d5, queen h5 moves can be serious. All right, so now um, I could castle or knight d6. In a way, I want to just wait for my knight to be kicked. Although, oh no, actually at this stage, I think I want to hop in. Bishop takes, queen takes. How is my queen kicked away from that square. I guess queen b4. But I'm not too concerned about that. Have the bishop pair have a dark square bishop? Um, what is best? Castles? Do I, do I want a queen exchange? That's another thing. Castles, castles. And then, mm, let me just go with castles. Maybe I play a3 on my next move after castles. Again, I'm not threatening it straight away. Okay, now the bishop has taken a step, so knight d6 here. Looks interesting. Yeah, I think I'm going to go in for it now. 
Clean is going to be, I think, a pest. I'm surprised that black is giving this one a think here. Because I am on F7 if you don't take the knight. So on queen b4, I do have the option. Oh, did not even consider that one. Okay. So you're on c2. Got it. Okay. If I play here, there's this one. Queen is defending this. Um, wondering if, I mean, it almost feels like I could play this one, maybe not even care about C2. I'm not going to, mm, I was going to say, I'm not really going to calculate a whole lot. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to go with this one. Seeing this takes something good should be happening for me. Okay, they are going in for that. Now, I do see a variation where they could get the queens off. It's another detail. Now, I might want to consider forcing moves here. So take, take, and then take, discover, check. Or just take here straight away. Yeah, I'm going to do that. So I really don't know how this is all playing. I, there should be, if, I, if I'm not able to... And to do something with these pieces and the queen. I don't know if I could rely upon the queen, but if they take my rook, I think I could uh, take here and then play bishop here. So knight takes rook, bishop takes pawn check, king here, bishop here. And even if they get the queens off, or actually... On the check, I could just move king h1. So something like this. Bishop takes pawn. King d8. Bishop g5. Queen b6. King h1. Queen takes queen. Pawn takes. And then got this pinned knight. So this is another note. Maybe, maybe I just play here. Yeah. Instead of inviting... The uh, exchange, instead of having this open file for them. I'm going to go with this one. So we'll see. Okay, so I'm on the knight. Knight takes rook, bishop takes pawn, followed up with bishop g5. We could have a two bishops mate. This pawn clogs up the queen side quite a bit. In general, not my uh, type of play here. Tactical, very sharp. Okay, so I guess they were fearful of knight b5, but they're overlooking, I guess, this one. This should just be completely winning now. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're going to have a bishop here and a rook here for me very soon. Definitely, this stage, I do not care about the rook. These are enough to weave a mate. Probably don't even need the knight. First things first, rook here. It's the only move to delay mate. This guy can't even move. So what's the mate? Rook here. Take the rook. King takes. Bishop takes rook, and there's no stopping rook f8 next mate. Is there's Okay, so this is just straight to mate. All right, I'm not entirely sure if that was sound. Kind of went by feeling on that one. Recognizing the backward development by black on the queen side, primarily. Okay, the jet. Let's try a d4 game. Another white. All right. Uh, let's play something I don't normally play. Knight c3. Okay, no d5 there. So let's put the 
second pawn in the center. So that's a hole. Um, I'm going to go... Well, now that this guy's here, I don't have to worry about... I, I need to slow down, actually. <laughs> um, still in like a, a blitz mentality. So let's consider... I don't have to worry about a pin now. So I could rely upon this knight on f3. I won't have to maybe invest a move to preserve a knight on f3. I think I want to play with three pawns in the center. Especially with this weakness. I think eventually I want to get that alpha zero pawn established on e5. It's not... The only way to play it, of course, this is perfectly healthy. Maybe just more to the point. Yeah, let's play more, I guess, more direct. Maybe try and play sharp throughout. No, I don't know. Okay. Maybe seven. Okay. I'll put this guy here. I'm not quite sure where this guy belongs. Kind of am drawn towards this arrangement. Okay, it seems like they're going hedgehog land. H6 to preserve the bishop. I'm ready to castle queenside. Maybe. Where's the pawn break? Hmm. Okay, if this move isn't played... Okay, should be doing pretty well here. Get that dark square bishop off. Yeah, I think h6 was really the, the way to go. So this queen should be really annoying. So now I could even consider h4, h5. Yeah. Yeah, let me do that. I haven't committed my king, so queenside is still perfectly healthy with these three. I like my knights. I like my center. These two still need to develop. Okay. Feels like it should be winning for white. Could play e5, or just leave the center fluid. And swing the back completely around. This is what I'm drawn towards. Kind of saying, if you take me, you're helping my queen knight drift towards the king side where I'm trying to attack. I would expect if this move to be challenged, my center to be challenged with c5 or f6. So I think it's best to maybe play h5 here. I'm now deciding between these two. Yeah, I think I want to play this first. So there's a variation maybe with a capture, or a capture here, and then knight f5. Or takes, 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 and then knight f5 to extract my queen. I may have some in-betweener, though. That's another detail. If you take on h6 first, queen takes, and then pawn takes, I'm already ready to take on g6 and deliver mate on h7. So we'll see what the jack comes up with. So, so even here, for instance, I'm not locked into taking an e4. Could take here. I am on the rook. So takes, king takes, and then pawn takes, g6, pawn takes, knight, queen, h6. He would have to go here, and then we should be getting a mate. I think I'm going to take here. My knight could all... Okay, yeah, I'm going to take here. This guy should be poison. So, I have another case here where there's this backward development on the queen side. Should just be winning...
this could be an unprotected pawn very soon. I would think this is a case where you want to take away from the center. Not just so the rook has an open file, but this is more about granting the king a new square to run once I land on h6. So we'll see what black comes up with. And this. This. No, I'm not seeing a defense, really. How's this playing out to mate if they take here exactly? Check here. Check here. Um, not seeing it clearly. <laughs> it's very close. I'm, I'm, I'm almost certain there is a mate there. Because I could even afford a quiet move along the way. There's no checks for black in the position. And the closer the king is pulled towards my side of the board, the less material I'll need to weave a mate. Oh, I'm also forgetting that my rook could also be stepping up to deliver checks. Okay. So, it's looking like this one followed up with knight g5. Should be pretty crushing. And the queen might end up getting smothered. Yeah, let's begin with the check. The runner. So this, I'm going to hold off on that. So check, king here. And then here, I'm on the queen. I'm attacking for free at this stage. I'm not down any material, really. No. No piece down position. Yeah, let's go with knight g5. So it's going to be a fork one way or the other. Okay, so there is a way out, I believe. So on knight takes pawn, there is knight f5. Knight takes pawn, knight f5. I could play queen takes pawn. That should be good enough. No check still for black. Yeah, let's grab this. Oh, also, I'm forgetting, I could, I could do it like this too. Queen takes rook and then take here. But I think best is to just take another pawn and be on this guy, still be on the queen and the rook. And this, if the queen moves, maybe track down that guy. Still no checks for black. Or maybe, maybe I do make it simple. Yeah, this queen here. check i mean I, i'm at this stage i kind of don't want to have to calculate being a bit down on the clock mm, all right yeah let's let's just run it like this where i win the exchange and i end up with the rook a wild rook on the h so, oh actually I'm, I'm mistaken i don't have rook takes h7 okay taking the center pawn should be perfectly fine and this is a Super convenient way to defend. King is cozy. C2 is defended. Knight is attacked. So I am up a full rook. And I think at this stage we just mop up some material. I can meet this with C3 or even this. Okay, I'm going to go with this one, just get rid of material, take, 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 c3, I get the piece, that should be clean enough. I 
Yeah, pretty sure. As soon as you, that battery is formed, you flick in h6, preserve that dark square bishop. He signed. All right, still 35 minutes to go. 336 are in here. All right, Team Black. How about Sicilian? Okay, C3 Sicilian. Saying this in the last rapid video I put out, been experimenting with this move, meeting E5 with returning the knight back home. Not the best, but um, yeah, I'm looking to maybe work on this square, get a knight here at some stage, or really uh, another detail is to get some defined fi or a fixed structure in the center. I'll be meeting d4 with knight here, and I'm prepared to go two with this guy. So this is what one of the differences you could know. This is the most popular reply to e5. But now that this is not occupied with the piece, I could consider going two. I think it's also interesting to uh, try out this variation in a way because uh, it could go into a more positional territory. Um, it's not as common. Turn into a Carol Khan very easily. Exchange Carol Khan. Or, excuse me, an advanced Carol Khan. So it's already a thinker. <laughs> yeah, so I was saying on d4, this takes, get that big pawn, and my knight still has access to its favorite square. What other moves here for white? Knight f3, knight d4. A real big thinker here. So, okay, knight, knight f3 it is. So something I could consider is maybe first to this one. Yeah, I'm going to do that right now. Before my knight is on c6 in this case. If bishop check, that means this pawn is going to be around for a bit. It's on a light square. Okay, this is another move I've seen, and it keeps the position open. Uh, and my reply has been to just sneak by a step. Really don't want to recapture with my queen. So I'm going to go here. And I'm going to develop my bishop here. I think we're close to having some isolated queen pawn position, maybe. We'll see what kind of pressure white places on Team Black these next few moves. The check really isn't anything. Okay. Let's see. I think I do want to capture. Yeah, let me take. I think this is the correct approach what white is doing here. You know, given that I've made this move and underdeveloped, I am slightly behind with development. And now I'm a bit concerned because, hmm, I don't know if I want to allow this knight to get to b5. So I'm considering just ruling it out. So if I take knight b5 is concerning. I mean, what do I do? I go back. Queen takes queen. I don't really, I'm not thrilled about being uncastled and having the bishop there coordinate with the knight on b5. So I think I want to <laughs> negate knight b5 altogether. Yeah. I feel like there might be something here for white, given that I'm still not there recapturing this pawn, but 
We'll see if there's some sharp move here. Queen check. And if I block and then queen here, here, making it difficult for me to recapture. I don't know. Is that a thing? Okay. I feel like I've been given a moment to breathe. And now I'm ready to simply recapture. Yeah, I should be fine here. And that bishop is a strong piece, to be sure. Let's get one step away from castles. And let's just castle. Okay. So we have majorities here. Hmm. Okay, the pin. Thinking about this one. On h6 takes, queen takes. Mm, maybe there isn't a great knight discovery. Yeah, maybe there isn't a great knight discovery. So this one here, here. On knight b5, okay, I was thinking for a second on knight b5 I can take. And after a recapture, then take the knight. But that's not true. Because on this, there's f takes, and my queen is hit. No time to recapture the knight. So, also this, this, here, knight b5. I mean, I guess I could just move the bishop. Bishop c5. Bishop c5, knight here, rook here. Hmm. Rook really feels stupid on that square, but the knight on c6, c7 in that position seems like it could easily be trapped. Also, b5 in that position, I have bishop takes pawn, pawn takes, queen takes, rook. No queen move to target the rook. I think I'm going to go for that. Another move I haven't thought of thoroughly here is if knight c6 but I I mean I could just capture or even back the bishop off oh okay well in the end there is no bishop takes knight so I feel like I've been gifted something a flight square okay how about Queen here, this seems like the most natural square. On some battery threatening a sacrifice, I'm able to track down this bishop and prevent any thoughts of a sacrifice with knight g4. So I got that one covered. Okay. Well, I think I want to drift towards the king side somewhat and have these two interesting squares available. I would really like to track this guy down. Yeah. Also, I could replace this excellent defender. If 94 takes here, it kind of helps on my development. So, is this, is this too slow? Rook b8 and b5, or rook b8 and just b3? This knight jumping here is a bit irritating. I don't want to kick the knight. I'm just inviting the knight into a great square. How do I get my light square bishop out? <laughs> Maybe I just play here. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to go here. If knight e4, I can take, bishop takes, and then knight c4. Okay, so we, we might be seeing this. What I haven't considered with this continuation is if there's a sacrifice here on this move. I feel like I should be able to defend, weasel out. 
along the dark squares. This night is under control. I don't see the rooks entering the scene. Okay. I mean, if I am concerned about that, maybe I could flick in first F5. Maybe that's not a bad move. I don't like weakening this square. Let's see, though. If the sacrifice isn't working, I'm cool. This, here, here, check. Um, king here, queen here, king here, here. Oh, maybe there is a perpetual there. Uh. All right, I'm going to do that. I have some rook lift, maybe. I'm allowing my queen to help defend against these sacrifices now. This is one of the benefits of this move, but there's certainly a lot of drawbacks. These holes on the e-file. Also, my time isn't the greatest. Another detail. I could think about running. I do have... I commented about this. Okay, I gotta kind of get rolling here. Play a bit faster. Uh, I talked about uh, white having a majority briefly. I have the majority on the king side, so that doesn't mean throw these guys up the board, especially with the queen still on. But these two, on the other hand, that's a different story. I could look to get here, maybe here. Shut down this guy. Well, I have to watch, though. You know, I am vulnerable along this diagonal. Queen b3, bishop d5, queen d5. Okay, so right here, case in point, this move gets hit with this one. So I think I should take first, or maybe keep the keep the knight there for a second. Mm, I think maybe m m to the point is to take here first. Hmm, maybe maybe king king in the corner. Is correct. Yeah, I'm going to play king in the corner. Okay. Because if I did that, there's these checks and then the knight hopping into this square. Now the check is not there, so I'm ready to go. E5. Pretty much no matter what. E5, E4, maybe F4. Forming that duo gives me... Nice possibilities here, especially with the queen on e3. Queen and king are on the same diagonal, so if this guy ever moves, that one's going to sting. Now, where does this guy go? He's going there, so he's under control by this pawn. Interesting. I think I want to get on this diagonal. Yeah. Still keep. I'm, I'm still undecided what I want to do with these. This pawn duo. I wouldn't mind an endgame, but I feel like there might be some attack here for me. This guy is very good. Also, if I push too soon, I'm giving up a huge square, so I think I just want to sit, play it where this pawn stays here. Maybe I'm leaning more towards f4. Yeah, I really don't want this knight going here. I don't have to worry about that. Um, Queen is maybe asking for some tempo here. Yeah, it's complete development. We'll see. If this rook moves, this... Okay. Interesting. I'm going to go all the way back. Let's go all the way back. I'm not too concerned about... Okay, actually I should have maybe inserted that move first. Go here. Bishop c4, queen takes, because then I would have a trick. Missed an opportunity to stop this majority from even rolling. I went here to stop an eventual c5 with tempo. And I think now I want to do something against this point. So I'm going to give up this square, but still, I'm, I'm working on this pawn, basically. That's what I'm saying here. 
Ah, uh, but this was... Hmm, I'm not sure. Or I'm looking at it. Let me put some pressure on this knight. Don't like how I played these last few moves. I missed, yeah, bishop c4 would have been a nice spot. To watch for the queen bishop battery on these. Should be able to cover it. I have bishop f5 in many lines. So this guy's pinned. Queen is restricted. Where is there a trick? Um... Oh, wait a second. I could play here. And then I'm ready to do something here. I'm ready to capture. I think I'm winning now. Before this guy gets shut out. Should be able to get through at this point. So now I think I take... Takes rook. I could take here first. I could just recapture. Yeah, I'm on this guy three times and it's only defended once. Okay. I think taking with the rook is best. Now, take with the. I'm going to take with the bishop before it gets shut out. And then return with my bishop here. Keep pressure on stuff. And now I just want to get my queen over here. So on rook takes rook, for instance. I'm going to go here, here, here. Okay. Um, what's the story? Got to move faster. Let's go here. Knight here, bishop here, knight here. Feels, in most, in most cases, it'd be a wonderful piece, but I think it's easily worked around and the attack is going to be there. My bishop on d4. Should be a, an animal. Not sure how you stop the queen from slithering in. Well, king g2 is another move. Even on the clock, call it. Wow. I'm just going to get maybe one more game in. This tournament flies by. Especially when you... Join late. Okay. Follow through with bishop there, so it's fine. This, this, this is happening really fast. Yep. In most cases, this is great, but killer bees here. Threatening a mate in two. Don't know how that's stopped, really. You know, king here, check. Rook here to cover. I have this check. This guy's going to be a non-factor in trying to defend. Also, this knight as well. Not really a great defender of the king side. And all the forward jumps, they're covered. I'm not sure what that does. Okay, might be a loss on time. Guess I could pre-move that one. Have pressure on this rook. Okay, go here. Main one. So, I was going to say, even if this, I could play here. Nope, <laughs> let's check. Okay. Yeah, possible fork of the queen and king. Okay, they're out of time. Yeah, interesting game. I think, again, I, I like how they, the approach they took there. In general, I think that's the right strategy. If um, I'm, I'm playing like that with knight f6, e5, and then knight back home, under developing like that, try and keep the position open. Let's get a b3 game in. When it's berserking, I'm sticking to rapid play. All right. I'm going to stop 
a quick e5. Take into account the possible pawn duo before thinking about opening this door. Now I'm ready for the door. Whoa! <laughs> What's that move about? Playing like I did in the last game. <laughs> Unprovoked, though. <laughs> All right. So this can't be right. What is the idea? To get the C-pawn rolling? That's the only thing I could come up with. There's a serious waste of time there. So, leaning on my own advice here, we have this underdeveloping type of play. Makes sense to try and rip the position open. Create some tension. So C4. Any other move? No. Let's just go with C4. Okay, and I'm thinking about just bishop takes. Yeah, why not? Let the pieces fly out there. Alrighty. Hmm. Maybe I don't want to castle kingside just yet. So we got two bees and the queen. Buying up a lot of squares on the king side. Okay. Gearing up for this one. What's the story? I don't know. I don't want to block this diagonal so soon. I don't want to just put a pawn in the center to have a pawn in the center. I feel like if I want to do that, I could do it. So I'm going to retain some flexibility with my D pawn not mask my bishop with a pawn just yet. Prefer to do it with the piece, which can always easily move. And I am drawn towards knight e2. I feel like I could uh, get some attack here with the miners and the queen. Um, one thing I have to worry about maybe a bit is when I play here if b5... Bishop only has one square, but I'm not seeing how black takes advantage of that. There's not a knight that could access b4 straight away. Another move that might be interesting here is g4. Yeah. I think that's maybe a move. I think I'm going to go for it. Chop here. We got these guys that are already out and about. Invite another piece into the mix. Whoa. They really are doing it. Okay. So this is the two-point pawn. I lost a two-point pawn, but... Black's going to lose this guy. No kingside castles for black. This knight is not stable. Defend him, I kick him. Oh! I missed that. That was even a move. Okay, so bishop is defending the knight. Bishop is now targeting this. It's unprotected. Um, I think this is just a winning position now. So I guess the only try maybe for black is here and then a check, but I just go here. There's no development for a follow-up attack for black. This should just be winning. May even have takes and then takes with check. Something happening here, but... I'm thinking mostly about just taking on g7 right now and stopping castles and getting on f7. Yeah, let's do that. I don't care about this guy. Going for the going for the kill here. King hunter. Okay, so there's only two pieces out. All right, so Bishop takes bishop of course is a move. Knight takes e5 as a move. Yeah, I'm going to go with knight takes e5. I want to kind of mm, maybe have access to this f5 square. Takes, takes. Sneak in. 
So if I play here, let's see. Maybe, maybe now just taking is cool. You know, takes and the knight here. Why not maybe knight there first? I don't know. If this... Yeah, I don't think that that's working. Okay, I'm just, I'm going to do, yeah, this, this is, this must be correct, actually, the more I'm looking at it, because, because two pieces are helped, the knight is helped, the bishop is helped, what other, what other move is there for this guy, anyhow, alrighty, uh, I thought that was running through my mind is this fork, but I can move the rook at this point, this is covered well enough, so I could take this guy, it's just something more direct, this might be a move here, actually. Yeah, I think it is. Knight takes here. I'm on the queen. And I'm on the bishop. Yeah, I think this is the... Are there any checks? No good checks, at least. So knight takes f7 here. I think should be a winner. Queen being opposite the king. No time to take anything, really. So, this guy's hit twice, defended zero. Okay. So I could take the queen. Yeah. And... Okay, they are getting one of my rooks. <laughs> Um, should be fine. Still be winning. The one I care more about is the one that's on the seventh rank. If this guy moves, you gotta mate in two. Okay. Now I'm not sure how mate is stopped. Getting made on the seventh rank. Check here, and here, or here next. And there we go. Okay. One more game will be played and will likely not count. Seven minutes to go. Okay. Let us see. Mostly sharp games. Yeah, I think everyone turned somewhat tactical. All right. Some fries here. The flare. Fries flare. All right. Uh, let's stick with another Sicilian. Another C3 Sicilian. Okay. Let's see if we can get a different variation. At this point. Still going to revisit this. Okay, so yeah. It was this move last time. Let's go with this one. And now, takes first, and then plant the pawn here. So we're going to see what White's approach is to this. Big decision. Okay. And I think I'm going to play it in a similar way. e6. Bishop there, I'm not winning it. There's knight c3. I don't mind taking on uh, an isolated pawn. Wow, very direct play here. Very direct. Is it correct? All right, well, I think it's not correct. I didn't see this straight away. I should have. Yeah, I'm just winning this queen. You know, the queen check. She's a goner. 
Knight c3 doesn't defend the queen. Maybe we get another game. We do. Yeah, we missed that detail. Okay. Might end up... No, we're not getting to the first page. Got 20. Normally not anywhere close to the top here, joining in late. All right, Team Black. D4, E4. D4. Okay. Let's just hit it head on. Yes. So, I think I want to play an exchange. Or not an exchange, uh, an accepted. Queen's Gambit accepted. Maybe hold off for a move. Let me stick with this one first. I'm defending this point with my e pawn with an eye on one day. Playing c5, possibly. So, two steps maybe with this guy. All right, bishop g5. Uh, in this case, yeah, I'm more inclined to just break the pin. Could end up with the hanging pawn structure in this game. Yeah. All right, so this one's turning out to be a bit more tame. Okay, just as I say this, a move I did not expect. Bishop takes knight, so I have an unopposed dark square bishop. How can we make it more effective? I think right now we do that straight away. Right now, while this point is unprotected, before it's sheltered somewhat, I get c5 in. My queen could breathe a little bit more. As options, further pressure. Ideally, Dark squares is on my mind. Uh, pu putting pressure on dark squares. Okay. Could take first. And then take again. Even... Ideally, I'd want to take after take on c4 after this guy has moved, but I might, I might want some clarity in the center. Work with a specific structure... Force white to take on an isolated queen pawn position. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think I want to take first. Let's see first of all how white recaptures. So I'm taking with my flank pawn first before making a commitment with my center pawn. And maybe best is to just castle. Am I okay with a ram structure playing with the bishop pair? Hmm. Now, keeping this pawn around, it could be a target. Um, it does stop bishop c4, it stops knight e4 bothering my bishop. Let me castle first. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. If I castle in c5, I'm not there in time actually to undermine that point. Castle c5, b6, b4, a5, a3. Hmm. Position is opening up. I do have this irritating move. Knight c5, hitting this and then ready to break open the center. So I think I'm, I have uh, the correct type of counterplay. If white, wow, if white tries to establish a pawn here, but they're, they're trying to attack me. That's what is kind of screaming out to me here. So here's, here's the thing. I think taking bishop recapture. And then knight c6 is the way. Yeah, let's... Or I could still start with this first. 
Yeah, let me start with this first. Let's still not invite the the knight um, or the bishop into the mix just yet. So now, now I could take here and oh, you know, I'm forgetting there is this this capture idea. There is fishing pole stuff happening. Take bishop takes pawn king takes knight g five take there's this big problem here so i wonder if i have to play this one it's not the end of the world that i allow this file to be opened up and create these holes yeah the center is ready to be blasted open so i think i want to i think i want to play here stop the sacrifice attempt the center is it's going to open up in a blink I don't think white has time for this attack, and certainly I don't think that this is this is working out because this this point collapses. This bishop is also pulled away from attacking my well, still attacking my king side maybe somewhat on this diagonal, but I'd prefer to see the bishop on this diagonal rather than this one. Is what I'm getting at, and now I'm ready to just take here. I think it's best to do it with the knight. Yeah, let's go with the knight. I'm up a pawn. You could think about this move. Knight e4. Not really too concerned with having this uh having this un unopposed bishop. Planted here. Super duper strong. So forcing moves this one here, here. I don't want to give up my dark square bishop that easily. So let's do it like this. In fact, now if this guy gets running, I could take and then take here. Not too concerned in my dark squares. Okay, you're going, going with that one. Actually, I am a little bit concerned here. My dark squares. Maybe this one and then here. Yeah, let's run it like this. Be a bit careful. I am ready for this one. Get rid of one of the knights. Yeah, they are putting pressure on. Not seeing the mates or anything though. feels kind of close, like there might be something. Because my king has no squares after that capture, but I think maybe I could even take on this square if they play this one. A little bit of calculation. Also, I should have been looking at a possible queen check. First, that's running through my mind. I'm ready to just take this knight here. Okay, they're defending that, but now there's one less attacker near my king. And I believe I have e4 here. Yeah. Simpler ways to play it too. This, this, here. Queen takes pawn is very good. What's cleanest? I think this one is. Yeah, let's go with that one. It's piling up on the pinned knight. Extending the scope of my bishop. And I think it's perfectly fine taking here. I could still hold off on this capture. Three minutes, 40 seconds for me. So what tries are there? Like two minor pieces for the queen? I'm not seeing that working out. I'm not seeing a knight get to this square for mate. Queen is around. It's just not there. The, this rook is not playing. It's not enough. 
you know, tough to say what the, the best try even is here. Uh, simple just to take with the rook. You know, don't even allow a possible check. It's covered, but all right, queen there. Let's crash through, I think. And take with the bishop or the knight. Now we'll take with the knight. It's check, easier to calculate. Bishop takes, stops rook there. On the rook as well. Covering this. Queen takes here, rook here, a lot of ways to do it now. No mate against the black king. If this rook leaves, queen g5 is, is looking good. Playing that, kind of sad to pull the rook off of the open file. There's really just nothing here though. Also grabbing a pawn just so I could have bishop here next is also pretty nice. Yeah, I think that might even be best. This is unprotected, but no queen move to even attack it. So now we should just be getting a mate into the two bishops and the queen. Okay, that's going to do it. In the end, one, two, three, the first game it wasn't really a game. One, two, three, six games counted. Uh, six. Uh, it's played seven games, but really just six. Okay. Let me throw a good games all. And that's going to do it for this one. All right. Feel free, as usual, to leave any feedback to this video in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed it and maybe took a thing or two away. That's all for now. Take care.